Jeanette here and I'm from Kay's Flower School. Today I want to show you how to make some florist bows using this cheap florist ribbon that's available from most flower shops. In this video I want to show you how to make a smaller version of the cluster bow that I showed you in previous videos. This time you need just one length of the ribbon, so from one shoulder and the length of your arm. Give yourself that a little bit extra. This ribbon then is torn in half. The easiest way to tear it in half is start in the centre of the ribbon. But don't grease it, just use your fingernails and make a small little cut. And then just pull the ribbon. One piece of the ribbon, you're going to wrap that loosely around your four fingers. Wrap it till all the ribbon is used up. Again, don't worry about how many times did I wrap it around my fingers. Where the ribbon finishes, place that near the edge, but it's not that important and fold it over in half. On the folded side, give it a nice sharp crease. Try to avoid creasing down here because these will be the loops of the bow at a later stage. On the folded sides, using a sharp scissors, cut out two triangles, one on that side and one on the opposite side. The idea is when I open it, it looks like a small dicky bow shape. Hold it in the centre. The other piece of ribbon that we had left over Again, starting in the middle, I'm just going to pull off these little threads here. Starting in the centre, tear off a thinnish piece. To be honest, the thinner that piece is, the better the bow will work. The slightly thicker piece, rest that at the back of your dicky bow. The thinner piece, wrap it across it. Don't spend time trying to get the ribbons all the same length. We'll show you how to finish them later on. Fold the bow in half while you tie your knot. As I said in previous videos, this can be the hard part. You tie your knot and pull it really, really tight. And then tie a second knot directly on top. If you're making these bows in advance, these can be stored like this. This bow is ideal maybe for tying on a small bunch of flowers, or a little pot plant, or even a gift that you want to give to somebody. To open the bow, sometimes it's easier to dampen the top of your finger. Pull out the inside loop, but as you pull it out, twist it to yourself. I'm using my fingers. Pull the second loop and pull it away from yourself. The next loop, twist it towards yourself. As I said, sometimes it's easier to dampen the top of your finger. So twist it to me, twist it to you, until all the loops on that side are pulled out. Now repeat the process on the opposite side. So the inside loop, twist it to me. Inside loop, twist it to you. Inside loop, twist it to me until they're all pulled out. Again, you will have two small tails. These are the beginning and the end of your ribbon. Fold it over in half, and then using your scissors, do a sharp V cut. And when you open it out, this is the shape that you will get. The two thinner strings is what you can tie it onto your present. We can just fix any loops around. The two thicker ones is what can hang down. Or if you prefer, you can get your scissors and you can curl these pieces of ribbon. Open your scissors flat, Use the top of your finger resting against the side of the blade and pull the ribbon away from the scissors rather than pulling the scissors away from the ribbon. And then again, using your fingernails, you can just make the ribbon a little bit thinner. The harder you pull the blade of the scissors, the curlier the ribbon will go. That time it was quite curly. This time I'll do it that little bit lighter. So I'm just gently bringing the blade around. And you can see that the curl will be that little bit looser. Well, it's still very curly. Thank you for watching. Look out for some more videos that we'll have posted on our blog.